In this video, I'm gonna show you how I stopped my slice by fixing my lead hand grip. Let's do it. So when I was slicing the ball, I had a tendency to do this right here. You can't see it, but the club base just went way open and it's this tiny little tip that's helped me not slice the golf ball. And it is exactly where this grip should be in your hand to help you not slice it. In the golf swing, your body wants to go to its positions of strength in the swing. So where it feels it has power. So a mistake I was making was I had the grip about right there. Now you can see a little bit of space in there. Now you can see a little bit of space right there. And the reason that's happening is because I do not fully have the heel pad, so from here to here, of my hand on top of the club. I had the club going through right there, and you want it more there. So you can see the heel pad of your hand if you clench your hand like this, from this wrinkle to the bottom, this is all the heel pad of your hand. And so, even with a jumbo grip here, I can still easily, this is a jumbo max large grip, I can still easily get the heel pad of my hand on top of the club. And you need to do that to prevent a slice. Because if you leave some space in here and you grip it closer to the palm of your hand, when you hinge the club against your hand, look at the club base, it's now gonna go open. Because the position of strength in your body is with this heel pad of the hand on top of the club, now when I hinge back, it's not so open to where I come through and the club base is square. So this tip is really gonna help prevent an open club base and how to properly grip the club. And how I fixed that with my lead hand is I really made sure there's no space in here and you really get your hand on top of the club fully on the heel pad of your hand. And so now when I go back, it's not gonna do this. When I cock the club back, it's gonna cock square to where all I have to do, I'm gonna keep everything the same, is turn and then uncock. And you can see the face is coming in, a little bit open, and it's, it's just very square. Whereas I put a little bit of space in here, club face wants to open, and this is what that looks like, so I'd have to find a way to square it there. And you're really flirting with a slice if you do that. But I hope you found some helpful tips in this video to make sure you're not doing that if you are slicing the golf ball. It's not something I did every time, but it's something I saw creep in my game back when I started golf. And there's 10,000 different reasons you could be slicing the golf ball when you start golf. And that's the whole point of the series is to eliminate everything one by one. This is video 10 of a 19 video series on how to stop your slice. So make sure you watch every one of the other 18 videos if you are struggling with a slice as I'm sure they will help you. What you learn in this video is part of fundamental one that I teach of four fundamentals at manninggolf.com. Fundamental one is setting up on your unique swing plane and a part of that is the grip. And it's a full step-by-step -step course with the best swing method and you can customize it to your unique body composition. And the link to the website is in the description of this video. But again, I hope you found some helpful tips in this video to prevent that slice, and I hope the rest of your day goes well.